Hello everybody, welcome back to a much awaited Pepper Shrine update. Today is the beginning of June, it's like the first or the second of June. So uh, I'm finally putting the Pepper Shrine outside, mostly because they just don't fit in the windowsill anymore. Sorry about the squinting at the camera, it's very very bright and I can't find my sunglasses. So let's look at the plants instead, shall we? So here you can see my little box where I've got six of the Shrine Peppers so far. Let's see what we've got. It's the, the Sand Dollar. The Kung Pao Hybrid. The Red Cherry. The Lemon Hot. This is one of the seeds from Burpee. It's not looking too great, but uh, it's looking pretty decent at the same time. There's bloody aphids everywhere. We've got the Sweet Heat Generation 2 here. It's doing quite well so far. And I don't know how well you can read it on that popsicle stick, but that used to say Orange Fugo. So we're going to line them up along the front of the house here because this gets the most beautiful sunshine all day long. So around here the garden space is first come first serve. Just because you weed it doesn't mean you get to plant there. But I did weed that and I got out here with plants first. So I'm going to put the peppers in here and then along and then probably along. I think there are 17 peppers in the shrine right now so we'll see just how much room that takes up in the long run. Back here though, those amaranth seeds that I tossed out from the bulk store finally seem to have sprouted. At least I'm hoping that's amaranth. Won't know until it uh, grows up a little bit more, but I'm gonna leave that corner pretty much as is and just plant out a single row of peppers in front and along here and like I said, along there. And we will see how it does. I think this is the sunniest part of the yard all day. So let's get started putting these into ground. So first up is the orange fugo. Here are the roots that formed inside that cup. Plant itself doesn't look too bad aside from the aphid infestation so I'm just gonna plant that a little bit deeper. Wild hair blowing in the breeze there. It is what it is. Anyway I'm gonna plant this down and then uh, we'll take a look at some of these others. I don't know how many of you remember the orange fugos from last year but that was almost um, an orange creamsicle colored pepper. This I'm really excited about. So the next one I'm putting in is the sand dollar. This was also kind of a an orangey pepper shaped somewhat like a patty pan squash. So basically a, kind of a UFO. Very funky. Let's take a look at that once it's in. Alright, quick correction. Let's take a look at those roots first because I'm fascinated by this stuff. Again, it looks like some really excellent root growth. Not surprising considering how tall this plant is and it's been topped. But now we'll take a look once it's in the ground. Oh, the wind is having fun with me, playing silly buggers, tossing my hair, tossing my peppers. But there is the sand dollar pepper. Hopefully gonna get lots of peppers out of that. Oh, it looks more like a proper garden already. So let's go from orange to yellow here with the lemon hot pepper. Looking pretty good so far. Hopefully it'll continue to look good once we put it into the ground. Let's take a look at those roots. Not quite as marvelous as some of the previous roots, but considering it's supporting this plant, I'm going to say it's a, it's a good enough root structure. Let's get her into the soil. So from yellow to red, let's put in this red cherry. These, uh, most of these peppers that are going out today already have some fruit on them, and I probably should clip them off. But you guys know, I'm not gonna. Let's take a look at these roots. Again, not quite as impressive as some of the roots we've already seen, but still pretty happy with it for growing in a solo cup. So I think next up we're going to put in the Kung Pao Hybrid. These peppers have been very productive for me in the past, so I'm excited and hoping for another similar sort of harvest from these ones. Take a look at those roots in a minute. Now that's a thing of beauty right there. This should do very well. Fantastic. Into the soil you go, my little friend. And then the final pepper from this set is the Sweet Heat Generation 2. It's already got a pretty sizable one on there. It's got a couple other little peppers on there. Curious to see how these roots look. Well, I'll be honest, considering the number of peppers on here and the size of that one, I actually expected a lot more root mass than this. But let's get this puppy into the ground. Then we've got five more I'm going to bring out, and then I'm going to stop there for today because we want to cut out the rows and frankly the rest of the peppers just don't look big and strong enough to come outside. So we've got the Scotch Bonnet, the Ancho, the Red Demon, the Nepalese Bell and the Serrano. So looking at the Scotch Bonnet here it looks like we might have a few flowers forming on the top of that. I'm really curious to see how the roots look here. Some pretty decent looking roots on the Scotch Bonnet there. Let's get this puppy into the ground. 
All right. Next, we've got the ancho pepper. Looking all right. Again, sort of looking like it might have some flower buds forming in there. Sorry about the bad focus on my camera. It's been dropped recently. And check out the roots here. Not the most impressive root cluster, but clearly good enough. All right, ancho into the hole. So next up, we've got the red demon pepper. You may recall this from the pepper collector series last year. It, uh, it was delightfully, painfully hot. Got quite a few of these growing around the back, but this is the Shrine Red Demon. Decent little string of roots coming out of the bottom of this cup already. We'll see how those do pulling it out. I gotta say, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I hope uh, some ladybugs or some lace wings or some whatever local predatory bugs discover these things are out here, because the war with the neem oil was effective at first. But I'm starting to think maybe I need to up the dosage in the bottle. Anyway, here is our red demon. Officially going into the outside shrine. Starting to look kind of nice around here. Peppery even. Next we have our Nepalese bell. I was unsuccessful growing these last year, but hoping for better results. This plant already looks better than the seedlings I had last year for this strain. Just need to check on the roots and get her into the soil. Not the most impressive root system in the shrine, but clearly doing the job. In you go. And today's final pepper is the Serrano. Looking all right. We'll see how it did. Again, it's a less than overwhelming root system, but clearly doing the job. Down you go, my little friend. So there, we're gonna wrap it up for today. We've got 11 peppers from the shrine. Now outside, dealing with life in the really real world. I hope they deal with real world life better than I do. Grow, little peppers, grow! So as you can tell, I clearly still haven't found my sunglasses yet, but that was a lot of fun, putting those peppers out and, uh, well, letting them experience life in Manitoba in a really real garden. So this is really new for me. I'm, I'm quite nervous not having them in pails that I can move around if I like the sun better somewhere else. So they're, they're stuck. So yeah. We'll, we'll just hope for the best, shall we? All right, so I'll plant the rest of those out into the garden area once we rip up the rows and uh, they get a little bit stronger. And there's a couple peppers from the shrine that I think are just going to stay inside. I'm hoping to get um, a proper LED grow light, you know, one of the funky, purpley, reddy, bluey color ones. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some seeds from those. Like that, that Trinidad Scorpion from Chad, for example, I've only got the one, so I'd really like to get some seeds from that. And the Tangerine Dream, I've only got the one, so I'd really like to get some seeds from that. And uh, as for the rest, well, here's to hoping I get an aeroponic system set up so that I can clone them come fall. All right, everybody, through sun-blinded eyes, I am going to say thank you for joining me so much today as I plant out part of the Pepper Shrine, and I will undoubtedly see you Sunday. Take care, everybody.